Welcome back. I haven't worn this jersey in a while. This is my old Taylor Hall. I got this one when the channel was first really starting to gain momentum and I needed an Oilers jersey. And this one was 40 bucks because it was right after they traded Taylor Hall. So, and this was the nice orange version before they went with the way too bright orange jersey. All right, so the Oilers at home tonight and coming off of a pretty big win, a little bit of momentum that I don't know that it carried over into this game, but there was a confidence with the Oilers tonight. And this is a team that I, I think is quite dangerous. I did pick them to go to the final in my bracket. We'll see if that's how far they go. So it's Corpusalo versus Skinner in this one. Dreisaitl misses one wide early. Then there's a hit on Roy that draws cheers, because why not? Uh, Grunstrom has a shot that saved. The Oilers clear. The shots on net are 3-0 for the Kings at four minutes. Uh, fans call one. The referee doesn't. McLeod can't bury one as the Oilers press. Then there's a power play for the Oilers which came into this one 6 for 11 in this series. So I find it funny because people talk about, uh, I've seen, every time I turn around, I see McPower play. Oh, and Walt McDavid does the score on the power play. Yeah, their power play was the best power play in history. And in the playoffs right now, it is lethal. So that's that's not an insult. It's just not. Um, so Ryan Newton Hopkins has a shot this block, the Oilers cycle, and then post it in. Uh, Kane from Nurse and Ekholm at 8.08, and that was in the closing seconds of the power play. So the Kings almost survive it, but nope, the Oilers are one for one. Kings press for response. Hyman has a rush chance that's held. Dry settle at a spin shot that was held, and then he buries the next one. In close on a pass from behind the net. McDavid and Ekholm with the assists at 10.40. So there's McDavid with a 5-on-5 five -five point. He has started to score 5-on-5 five -five in this series. Uh, so it's 2 nothing, but... The Kings would answer. Ayafalo scores from Kempe and Kopitar at 13-12. He buries a rebound. It felt like the Kings desperately needed that because this building was was jumping. The Oilers were confident. Everything's going their, their way. So they get that one. They get it back. However, the Oilers, they get it back as well. Kulak scores. I think that's his first career uh, goal in the playoffs. Um, McLeod and Fogel with the assist at 14-12. So it was a two-goal or one-goal game for a minute, and then it became a two-goal lead again. Uh, so nice one-timer on a cross-ice pass from McLeod. Uh, things then get pushed in a hold by Skinner. Ryan Nugent Hopkins is denied and close as the Oilers press. Grunstrom fires one wide on a rush. And then uh, Kempe buries one top shelf. Uh, Grunstrom and Doughty with the assists at 1735. And then in the final minute, Roy has a screenshot and that's held. So it's 3-2 to two in favor of the Oilers after the first period. Uh, but it does feel like this one's still kind of up in the air because, yeah, the Kings are, are able to get those sneaky goals there. So second period, Bouchard fires one wide as the Oilers look for an early one. Uh, McDavid's denied on a net drive. Nurse to Costin as a near miss there. Uh, fans call one. The referee doesn't, yet again. Uh, shots are two apiece at four minutes. Fogel has a rush chance that's saved. The net feed is then held. Um, Broberg has a shot that's blocked, and then he crashed awkwardly into the boards. He just loses an edge and crashes into the boards. Thankfully, he got up and he was okay. Uh, King's press are kept to the outside. Moore's then denied on a net drive. Kulak has a shot that's held. There's a press by the Oilers at the half. Uh, Dreisaitl fires one wide on a rush, and then they score. Bugstad tips one in. Uh, CC and Nurse with the assists at 11.49. So Bugstad with the perfect tip in front. And then Corpusello is replaced by Copley. Now, I don't know how many of those goals Corpusello is supposed to save. But at any rate, the Oilers are just, you know, at this point in the game, it, it felt like they were having their way with the goaltending for the Kings. So you got to make a change. And again, is it the goaltending? Is it the defense? Probably a little bit from each column there. Uh, Ayafalo then has a chance to tell. We get some pushing after that. Uh, this might have been the pushiest of the games out of the three that were played. The one that had the most emotion in it. Uh, Kopitar fires one high, the Oilers clear. Velarde has a shot that's saved. However, the Kings take an off offensive zone penalty. You can't do that. So the Oilers go to the power play. McDavid has a shot that's blocked by Doughty, and that looked like it was painful. So Doughty gets up and goes off. Thankfully, Oilers fans, very nice and kind and respectful to I'm just kidding. Doughty gets booed in every single building that is in L.A., and if he isn't booed in Seattle yet, you just wait. It'll happen. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head if Doughty's actually booed in in Seattle, but he is booed everywhere else. I know, I know Vancouver boos him. I know Edmonton does. Uh, there's no way the other California teams don't. It's just, it's part of, I think he'd be more concerned if they weren't booing. So the Oilers cycle, Ryan Nugent Hopkins at the side of the net, and then Hyman scores with his face. Uh, it went in off of his face. Uh, there was no cut either. He was fine. He was laughing it off after. It looked like maybe it caught him in the chin. 
Uh, Bouchard and McDavid with the assist at 1547. Don't worry when he tells his grandkids about it someday. It'll be this nice slapper, uh, you know, wrister from in front of the net. But yeah, it went in off his face. So <clears throat> it's 5-2. to two. And and again, the Oilers are having a good time. There's there's relaxed players on that bench. Uh, things are going well. Doughty then has a shot that's caught and held next shift. Uh, Ryan mishandled one on a 3-on-2 rush. The Oilers press. But yeah, after the second period, they've taken that 3-2 to two lead and made it 5-2. to two. So they're in control going into the third. Third period, early power play for the Kings. Pretty aggressive penalty kill, though, by the Oilers. Uh, shorthanded Kane to McDavid at the net near miss. Pretty close to a shorthanded goal there. Uh, that power play's killed off. No shots for the Kings during their power play. Dursey then has a shot that saved. The rebound's cleared. The shots are 2-0 Kings at four minutes. Fiala has a net feed that's picked off. And then... Uh, on a rush, as the net's being knocked off, Hyman scores. This time it went in off of, I think, off of his skate, not off of his face. Uh, Bukestad and Nugent Hopkins with the assist at 426. So there's Bukestad with a goal and an assist. He was a pickup at the deadline. Ekholm's on the board a couple of times. Uh, these players they picked up, they're making a difference. So that one's deflected in, as I said, off Hyman's skate. I think it had Anderson's skate as well. I was kind of debating whether or not it was going to be Hyman's goal, but if it's not, it doesn't matter. It scores 6-2 to two at that point. Arvidsson then has a blast that's held, but at 6.33, the Kings get one back. It is Byfield. He scores from Velarde and Fiala. It was a good press, and that's a decent line, but again, now they're down 6-3, to three, so nice to see Byfield get his first of the playoffs. Kane then has a rush chance to deflect out. The shots are 3-1 to one for the Kings at 8.5 minutes. However, the one shot for the Oilers went in the net. Uh, so, Dreisaitl has a blast that's saved. Uh, Doughty clears. Kempe has a rush chance to sell. And then they played Moni Moni. This is the first time I've seen a crowd in a while singing with the lyrics that I used to sing when I was in high school. Uh, which, when Yvonne and I started started dating and, and Moni Moni, I don't remember where it was playing, and I started singing along with the lyrics from when I was in high school. And she had never heard that and just looked horrified. And I'm like, seriously, you never heard that before? So anyways, um, which which led me down a rabbit hole to, to find, you know, find out again where that started. And there are various ideas of where that Moni Moni started. But it is fun that in the days before the internet, everybody knew what to sing in that part. So, uh, yeah, I that was kind of a nice moment there just because they were showing the crowd singing along. And I'm like, you know, if anybody read li reads lips, there you go. But yeah, Canadian broadcasting, it's fine. Uh, Byfield has a shot that saved the Oilers clear. I have fallows denied as the Kings press. A Dursey boarded Fogel. That was that was a pretty rough looking play. Uh, the Oilers go to the power play. Fogel gets up. Thankfully, he's okay because uh, that was a pretty vicious looking board there. Uh, McDavid has a shot that's held. That there was a shorthanded uh, wraparound by Anderson Dolan. That gets saved. Uh, the power play's killed off, but we're down to 320 left. They weren't really trying to score. They were just, hey, we just don't want to get hurt. Just kill another two minutes on the clock. Arvidsson has a backhand that's saved, and things get punchy with 147 left. When you poke at Skinner while he's holding the puck, that'll happen. But a frustrated Kings team is also a losing Kings team, and the Oilers win this one 6-3. They are up three games to two. They will be looking to end this series when they go to L.A. for Game 6. I'm not going to be overly surprised if we have a bunch of Game 7s. It feels like that's where this, this playoffs is headed in the first round, and I'm down for it. Uh, your three stars in this game are Nurse. Bugstad and Hyman. So that's a huge thing, too, that your three stars don't include Dreisaitl, don't include McDavid. They are getting that depth scoring. They're getting that scoring from other places that they need if they're going to go on a run here. Shots on net are 13-12 Edmonton in the first, 8-7 Edmonton in the second, 9-6 LA in the third. So they outshoot Edmonton 28-27. Power plays, LA 0 for 1, Edmonton 2 for 3. So that's a huge part of what's going on in this series. The Edmonton power play, which came into today... At 54% actually goes up in tonight's game. The LA Kings are going to have to figure out some way of killing it off. And I don't know who they're going to call because I don't know of any team that really totally shut that down other than San Jose. And San Jose is not going to try to help the Kings. Uh, so your hits in this one are 49 to 41 for Edmonton. So the hitting was down everywhere else. Not in this game. Corpusalo, 15 saves on 19 shots. Copley came in and saved 6 out of 8. I think you go back with Corpusalo in the next game for the same reason Skinner was in in this one. Skinner, 25 saves on 28 shots. He's your guy. And I, I think you go back with Corpusalo in game six. And again, they have to figure out how to kill off penalties. Uh, but the Oilers, they did come up with four on, or four on four, five on five goals. 
Uh, they had a grand total of four of them tonight, so that's not a problem for them now. And uh, they're in the driver's seat. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.